So this is a very quick video for anyone who's wanting to pass UTM parameters from Elementor on WordPress over to Aweber. Now, if you've got uh, Aweber forms, uh, there's a way you can add hidden fields, which I'll show you in another video. But once you've got your form, once you've done that, you should be able to see on your Aweber dropdown, you've got these field mappings, okay? But this does not mean that you're going to get that sent over yet. What you need to do is to essentially create hidden fields on here that are going to automatically fill. Now to do this, you simply go up to form fields. And as you can see, I've already got my name and my email. I've also got another one here, which is recapture, which protects me from bots. And then you can see I've already added a hidden field, which is UTM source. Now, if you know about UTMs, this is basically a way that uh, it's called it's an urchin tracking module, which is the way that um, Google tells you where leads have come from. So if someone's seen an advert on YouTube um, and they click it, they come to here, rather than a little more outdoor up here, it will actually just say a little more outdoor and then it will have all these different codes telling me where they come from very quickly. Source is essentially uh, like your wider view, so whether it's paid or organic. Medium is specifically where it's come from, so if it's paid, has it come from Facebook, has it come from YouTube, has it come from AdWords or Bing. Campaign is whatever you've called your campaign, so um, I've done one uh, targeting people who are interested in the outdoors, uh, so that might be my outdoor affinity campaign. Term um, this tends to be a particular search term you've used. Maybe you've targeted, maybe I, you know, in this campaign, I've targeted um, outdoor holidays or something like that. And then um, content is the specific ad that you've used. So it might have been this video, it might have been um, a certain piece of text you used, depending on the type of ad. And then you've got some additionals here, which is Google Click ID, which is basically a way that Google can. Um, identify exactly who um, has come to the site and what they were doing. And then you've got T, which is just a way that you can add extra information. So you, if you've got a specific link that you've put somewhere, you can do T add equals, and that will, uh, you can write a specific note. So if you've done a slight variation on the page, you might want to add some additional info. But these don't show up. So what we do, is we come up here, we go to form fields, we add an item, and you've got the type here. So text would be, as you can see here, somewhere you can just write text. So if you want to let someone leave a message or something, um, what we want is a hidden one because we don't want it to show up on our page. Okay, and then we're gonna call this UTM medium. Okay, so we're going to call this UTM medium. Now this hasn't mean, doesn't mean it's going to fill that in. We need to go on to advanced, and we need to go on to the dynamic tag, and we need to go down to request parameter. Okay, and then it's got this ID here, and we want that to get and the parameter name will be UTM medium again. Okay. And I'd ID that as UTM medium, I believe. So this is me the first time I've done this. So if anyone can, if I'm making any mistakes, if you can please correct me. Um, but I just noticed there was no guidance like this. And if you're like me and you're spending time looking around, this might help you. Okay, and so that's that one. And we'll just do that very again quickly. So we've got item six, which we're gonna rename, make that into a hidden, label that as, nope. We'll label that as campaign. Also, just before I forget, 
you can then assign the field to a space and that means when it goes to your Aweber um, account that should actually tell you what's there. I'll show you that later. So UPM can campaign, form fields, item six, label that as UCM campaign. I think it's quite important to use the right casing for this. So don't you don't switch between uppercase and lowercase. Dynamic tags. Request parameter. Get and paste. And Pretty sure you do this bit, but please, if anyone knows, then comment on there. And feel free to leave your own links in there, whatever helps. Okay, so, and you keep doing that through until you've got all of these. And then once you've done that, and you go onto your Aweber, on your subscribers, you should be able to see these, and these will get auto-filled with the content that would be in your search bar. Okay, so I hope that helps. Please comment or uh, below if you got want any more information, and I'll do a separate video to show you how to get this into Aweber when I can. All right, catch you soon.